Hey everyone, welcome back. We're diving into something really fascinating today, something I think you guys will find super interesting. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to be taking a look at Sydney Sweeney's career. Mm -hmm. um, and, and really what we're we're trying to figure out is is what makes her career so remarkable. Yeah. And, and how she's managed to achieve so much success uh, in such a short period of time. Right. We've got this article here. It's called uh, Sydney Sweeney's Meteoric Rise in Hollywood. From Breakout Star to Financial Powerhouse. And, uh, I mean, just reading the title, you know it's it's going to be good. There's, there's some really juicy details in here. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, it is really remarkable how quickly she's become, like, a major player in Hollywood. Totally. You know, one of the things that really stood out to me was was her salary for The Housemaid. You know, she made $7.5 million for that film. Yeah, I saw that. Like, that's that's a crazy amount of money, especially for someone her age. I mean, you don't really see that outside of, like, you know, big superhero movies and stuff like that. Exactly. I mean, for actresses in her age range who are working outside of those huge franchise films, a payday like that is it's practically unheard of. Right. Right. So, I mean, obviously she's doing something right. Definitely. And and the article kind of points to, you know, her being very strategic about the projects that she chooses. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's not just luck. You know, she's clearly making very calculated choices that are helping to build her career and and her financial success. Like take the movie Anyone But You, for example. OK. Yeah. She agreed to take a supporting role in Madam Web. That was a much bigger budget production. And that actually helped secure funding for Anyone But You, which was a romantic comedy that she really wanted to make. Oh, that's so interesting. So she basically used like a smaller role in a blockbuster. Yeah. To kind of leverage, uh, you know, getting her passion project made. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Wow. And, and it worked, you know. Anyone But You ended up being a huge hit. It made $225 million globally, and they only spent $25 million to make it. So that's a pretty impressive return on investment. That's amazing. So it, it proved that she's not just, like, a talented actress, but she also has a really good eye for what audiences want to see. Like, yeah. she's got that box office draw. Exactly. It's really impressive. But it, But you know what else I thought was interesting? What's that? She also makes sure to balance those big budget projects with smaller independent films. Oh, absolutely. Like reality. Yeah. The article mentioned that she only made $65,000 for that role. Right. Which is obviously way less than what she made for The Housemaid. Yeah, but it's it's still a smart move, you know? Totally. Taking on those indie roles, even if they don't pay as much, allows her to show off her acting range and work with directors who are, you know, really well respected in the industry. It gives her a chance to do something different. Right, right. And it helps build her credibility. You know, being associated with those kinds of projects can be just as valuable as a big paycheck in the long run. Yeah, it all adds up, right? Like, yeah. you're, you're building your brand. Yeah. And it's it's clear that she's very deliberate about, you know, the, the choices that she makes. And, and speaking of choices, I've got to say, her upcoming roles look really interesting. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, there's the boxing biopic. Mm-hmm. And then there's the period drama set in Hollywood. Right. Like, she's clearly not afraid to branch out and challenge herself. Yeah, and I think that's something that audiences really appreciate. They want to see actors who are willing to take risks and try new things. It keeps things fresh and exciting. Yeah, definitely. And I think it also says a lot about her confidence as an actress. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. Exactly. And I think her willingness to experiment is its part of what makes her so successful. Right. Now, you know, thinking about Sweeney's career in the bigger picture, I think it reflects something really interesting that's happening in Hollywood right now. Mm -hmm. This this shift in power dynamics. Actors like Sweeney are really taking control of their own careers. Oh, absolutely. They're not just waiting around for opportunities. They're creating them. They're building their own businesses mm -hmm. and they're using their platform to advocate for causes they care about. Yeah, that's a great point. Like, they're not just actors anymore. They're entrepreneurs, they're influencers, they're activists, and they're using their power to make a real difference in the world. Yeah, for sure. And and it's, it's inspiring to see, you know, especially for younger actors who are just starting out, like, Sweeney's career is a blueprint for how to be successful in Hollywood on your own terms. Yeah, I totally agree. And, you know, the article even compared Sweeney to Zendaya. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Who negotiated a $10 million salary for Challengers. Right. So you you kind of wonder, could Sweeney be on a similar path? You know, could yeah. we see her demanding those A-list paychecks in the future? It definitely seems possible, right? Uh -huh. I mean, based on everything we've talked about, she clearly knows her worth. 
and isn't afraid to ask for it. Yeah. And and I think that's a really powerful message to send, especially in an industry that hasn't always been fair to women. Absolutely. And and what Sweeney's doing is it's pretty groundbreaking. You know, most actors see their salaries increase gradually over time as they gain experience and become more well known. But she's managed to secure seven figure deals very early in her career. Right. Which is a testament to her, you know, negotiation skills and the leverage that she's built through making smart choices. Yeah, it's almost like she's rewritten the playbook on how to build a successful acting career in this day and age. Yeah, I think so. And I think that's that's really exciting to see. Yeah, she's she's not just acting in these films. She's really actively shaping her own narrative and controlling her own destiny, which is it's it's inspiring, really. Absolutely. And and her story raises some pretty interesting questions. You know, what other young actors out there are looking at Sweeney's career and thinking, I want to do that. And how will this new wave of actors who are, you know, really savvy and business minded, how will they impact the future of Hollywood negotiations? Those are really great questions. Like, what will the industry look like in five years and 10 years if if more and more actors are following Sweeney's lead and demanding, you know, fair compensation and more creative control, it's it's going to be really interesting to see how things play out. Yeah, it definitely will. Well, on that note, I think it's safe to say that Sidney Sweeney's rise is, is more than just a Hollywood success story. It's, it's a glimpse into the future of the entertainment industry. It's a reminder that talent and strategic thinking can be a really powerful combination. Yeah, for sure. And that, that if you have a clear vision and you're willing to work hard, you can achieve incredible things. Absolutely. So there you have it. Another deep dive done. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. See ya.